Hydrogenated vegetable oil is a common ingredient in processed foods, but what exactly is it? Is it safe to consume, or does it pose health risks? Let's break down how it's made, its uses, and its effects on health. Vegetable oils such as soybean, sunflower, and palm oil are chemically hydrogenated to improve their texture, shelf life, and stability. This process converts liquid oils into semi-solid or solid fats, making them ideal for baked goods, margarine, and fried foods. Common hydrogenated oils include shortening, margarine, and some fast food oils. The first step in the production of hydrogenated vegetable oil involves the addition of hydrogen gas, which is bubbled through liquid vegetable oil. A catalyst, such as nickel or platinum, is used to speed up the reaction, allowing hydrogen to bond with unsaturated fats. The process can result in either partial or full hydrogenation. Some oils are partially hydrogenated, which leads to the formation of trans fats, while others are fully saturated. However, there are health risks associated with hydrogenated vegetable oils. Partially hydrogenated oils produce trans fats, which are linked to heart disease and inflammation. They also raise LDL, or bad cholesterol, increasing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Additionally, frequent consumption of these oils is linked to obesity and diabetes, as they can impair insulin function. Many countries have banned trans fats due to their harmful effects on health. It's important to look for zero trans fat labels and to choose unprocessed vegetable oils like olive or coconut oil instead. In conclusion, while hydrogenated vegetable oils improve food texture and shelf life, their health risks outweigh the benefits. Avoiding trans fats and opting for natural oils can help maintain heart health. Do you check food labels for hydrogenated oils? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more health insights.